Bentman writes and directs Bull Shark 2, a 2024 sequel movie to the movie, of course, Bull Shark, once again directed by Brett Bentman. That was a 2022 movie uh, that starred Tom Hallam, who once again returns for this movie. And um, it takes place roughly a year or so after the original film. Now, bull sharks, in case you are unawares, are the only species of shark that can survive in fresh water, which makes it a somewhat unique kind of um, shark, really, in many ways. And uh, the original movie had this shark in this uh, lake, uh, you know, killing off residents. It broadly followed the, the same storyline as Jaws. Uh, that movie, the original one, to be honest with you, I gave a 5 out of 10. I thought it was an average, kind of, like, low-budget shark movie. But I will say a lot of people didn't like that film. I was one of the few people who were maybe a little less uh, negative about it. But for the most part, it wasn't well received. So what's the sequel all about? So, yes, it's the same lake, the same director, the same lead actor. There's a couple of other returning characters as well. And um, at the end of the original Bull Shark movie, we saw our character Tom ha that um, Tom Allen plays. His character looked like he was going to get back together with his wife. That didn't happen. He's uh, kind of no longer a, uh, a games warden, and he's just kind of living his life at the bottom of a whiskey bottle. But there appears to be another shark in this lake, another bull shark after a number of teenagers are killed uh, when they are kind of having a boat trip and he's uh, effectively persuaded to try and kill this shark and uh, expose that there is a shark in there of course the uh, the local mayor and the and the sheriff you know just want to go to sleep and under the rug what will happen you'll have to watch the movie and find out it's worth mentioning there is actually a third bull shark movie that is coming out it says 2024, so I suspect these two were filmed back to back. And it kind of shows, and I'll explain why that is in a minute. So let's discuss what works in this movie. Um, so the the idea of a freshwater shark, I think, is intriguing. As I say, it gives it some of a unique threat in many ways. Um, so I, I do find that kind of a, a pretty interesting kind of concept here. Um, there's a couple of kind of character moments that I did like. Um, Tom Hallam's character, as they say, he's established at this point, so they kind of have him estranged from his wife, who we don't see in the movie, but he's also estranged from his son. And I did quite like the relationship between um, him and his son. I thought that actually kind of like was done fairly well. You kind of felt a little bit of sort of chemistry but between the actors. And I thought those scenes were done pretty well, to be to be honest with you. I like the fact that they do reference the, the, the first movie a reasonable amount in this one. So it does feel like a genuine kind of follow on from that film. There's a more of an emphasis on a, uh, sort of a, a, a comedy character. I think the actor's called Billy Blair. And um, he was a minor part in the original movie, but here he has an extended role and is actually now Game Warden. It's a little silly, to be honest with you, because he was like a redneck petty criminal in the first film. But here he is, like a Games Warden or whatever. But, you know, he's kind of there for comedic effect. Um, so there you go. Uh, the movie is, is tries to be more dramatic, I would say, than the many of a, of a shark films. There's a double-edged sword. I will explain why in just a moment. And there's a, there's a couple of kind of okay action sequences. Now, let's transition to what doesn't work. Now, as I say, I, I actually like this movie, the original movie, the 2022 original movie, Bull Shark, a little more than the, the, the bulk of people who I saw reviewing it. But I have to say, I think this one is a, is a far weaker film. It looks like it was filmed back to back. Now, that's my speculation, uh, you know, with the third movie, because it even kind of sets up the third movie. But it looks like this this trilogy now just wanted to get to the third movie. And the second movie is just an afterthought, because, you know, unfortunately, a lot of what I liked about the original movie is kind of repeated in this one. So it's like the, the character that Tom Hallam plays at the, at the, in that in the original movie, he was this kind of down on his luck game warden who was kind of aggressive. He was drinking lots. 
He looked like he had reconciled with his wife at the end of the first film. All that's kind of swept away. Any character growth that we had in the original movie is just kind of reset. And he is actually uh, probably worse now than he was at the beginning of the first film. So I felt that they've kind of undid some of the kind of the, the arc, the character arc that sort of that went on. Um, so, you know, it tries to be dramatic by having him, as they say be very much um, down on his luck, but at the end of the day, people want to watch this for a shark film. But let me tell you, most of this runtime is human angst. Um, there is only, I would, there's only like really two encounters with the shark. One right at the beginning, and then the finale. And that is um, the rest of the movie just taken up with people talking in rooms. It's, it's a very kind of low budget movie. And I think it's, in this instance, at least with the first film, I do think there was a, quite a few shark attacks. This one there isn't. Uh, yeah, so it's mostly just kind of like dramatic scenes. But it's kind of repeating the same beats from the first movie. We even have, once again, a kind of a, a mayor and a, and a police chief that and is kind of poo-pooing the idea of a shark in the lake. Even though in story there was one in the lake just a year ago. So it's crazy to me that they've kind of just decided to repeat the same story beats from the first movie, uh, which was, which was, to be honest with you, a more more or less a carbon copy of the plot of Jaws. It just seems crazy to me that they haven't done anything more original plot-wise. The shark attacks themselves. As they say, there isn't really a whole lot of it in this film, just to, disappointingly. It seems more concerned with setting up the original, um, sorry, the, the, the third movie, which by the looks of it, they're going to have multiple uh, bull sharks in here. But here we get a, a solitary shark. The the initial attack is it's kind of fun, I, 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 I'll say. But they the low budget, one of the critiques I had with the original movies, the actual sharks themselves looked quite poor. They've used a mix of stock footage, um, CGI and like practical like fin. So let's just... Look, it's stock footage fine. It looks, it looks like a real shot because it is great. The fin sequences where we have this sort of fin going around in the water, it looks way too small. Uh, for instance, we see this, this, this fin attack this girl in the, in the initial part of the movie, the, the, the opening scene, and she's literally sort of pushing the, the fin away with an outstretched hand, meaning the, the shark, the rest of the shark is only the length of her arm. And it's just like, well, that's not that big, to be honest. Um, you know, where she's literally able to kind of put her hand straight out and like push against the shark fin. So, you know, you're only looking about like the girl's length of an arm, really. So not a, not a big shark, in, 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 if you could have used that as a context. And the, it, it kind of just looks like someone, as I say, with a plastic fin moving around. And then we have the CGI, and there's not much of it, to be honest with you. And, um, we see that the final scene where we see the shark, let me just say that, it looks like it should be from a Mark Polonia movie. I mean, it was like, my God, surely they could have done better than that. It's, it's, it's actually kind of funny. And to be honest with you, I was expecting like another shark to come out because there was so little shark action in this movie, then that it just, uh, it, it just kind of seems to end. I'm like, oh, that's literally it. Um, and as I say, the, we have these just really only two action sequences with the, uh, with the shark. And they're, they're kind of fun on a low budget uh, way. But to be honest with you, they, they, they could have been more done with it. We, we don't see a huge amount of footage of the shark. And when we do, as I say, it isn't good. Um, I think the, uh, just the kind of the, 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 the whole movie ultimately is a little bit of a step down from the original movie, which... I can say that it was somewhat average, but most people didn't even like. Uh, so to me, this is unfortunately um, a pretty disappointing movie, uh, to be honest with you. I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 10. Have you seen it? What would your thoughts on it be? And let me know, and I'll see you next time.